Good morning, everyone. This is Linda with Linda Sue Plants for you. Welcome back, and I apologize for the delay. I know I did say at the end of my unboxing video that I would be potting up my plants and, and getting right back to you with part two. Unfortunately, there was a lot more involved than just putting them in the soil, so... At any rate, I'm here now. So here is my absolute favorite one of the whole two boxes. Um, it's the philodendron meekins or mikins. I'm 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 just amazed at this plant. I don't know what it is about it that. Well, I know what it is. It's the color, the feel of it. Um, it's she is just so so gorgeous. And I think for years the. Uh, Philodendron, Hartley Philodendron has been really underappreciated. <clears throat> um, and I have quite a few of those in my house too. But this one really, it's like the, the grand, um, the best of the best of the philodendrons in my book. Um, it look, it's shaped like the Hartleaf Philodendron, but it's, it has so much more to it. But anyway, <clears throat> it is in my dining room in the corner right now. It's not going to stay there. It's there because I have nowhere else to put it. I'm waiting for my husband to bring me home some uh, wall hooks. You know, the wall, the L-shaped things that we hang our plants on. And he hasn't been able to find them. So it's going to go in my living room because that's where I spend the bulk of my time. And... Um, I want to be able to look at this first thing in the morning when I wake up. So it's not staying here, but it's here for now so that um, she can get good light and and just be okay until her move. So, okay. <clears throat> Hold on while I get to the other plants. Okay, here we go. So, now let's start with my um, Cebu Blue she has really perked up I soaked her in water the night that I got her and last night I I put her in soil and she's perking up really well she'll be going in a window shortly I have to do some rearranging here but as you can see she's she's very very healthy And then we have our Florida Ghost. And I still have her in water along with my, um, oh dang, I don't know why I cannot remember the name of some of these plants. Real Marks. And they are both very healthy. They, they, they made the trip um, without any issues and I do still have those in water I'm going to be planting those up later today but they're doing very well and then we've got our our poor little begonias here this is the Lucerna and she's okay she's got two good leaves And the third one isn't bad, but I think she's going to probably, she's probably going to pass away on me shortly. <laughs> Pretty soft. And, but I'm going to leave her for now because she's still green and, you know, I'm not ready to pull the plug yet. And then <clears throat> my Bloody Mary phil philodendron. Gorgeous. Isn't she gorgeous? She's doing just fine, and I'm getting ready to put her in soil as well. I'm going to be doing a lot of that in the next week. I'm not going to film at all, but I will be bringing some repotting videos. Um, and to those of you, my friends, who love those videos, you're going you're gonna to want to come back this week and check it out. And God willing, I will be very busy with that. Okay, and then we have 
the uh, lemon lime philodendron, not to be confused with the neon pothos. They look so much alike. Um, and then down here is my, uh, can't remember the name of that either. But, Dyschidia, that's what it is. My Dyschidia. And that I'm going to be planting up to date as well. That one is doing fine. And that one I think came out of soil anyway. So I'm going to put her back in soil. And then we have our sad looking Tretoscanthia. She's perked up. She's in water, and what I do have there looks very healthy. I'm, I have no doubt that she's going to make it, but compared to the big bunch that I had, um, I lost quite a bit of it. I do have some here in a pot, and now I'm seeing a doggone fungus gnat again. Ugh. Okay, so... I got her in this hanging pot because I'm going to hang her somewhere in one of my windows. <laughs> Not sure which one yet, but I do have some more hooks that my husband's going to be planting. I mean, planting. I got planting on the brain. That's a good thing though, isn't it? As you can see, I've got a couple of plants hanging here. And I have a couple of plants hanging here, but I... Need to get more hooks up there. Those two windows don't have any hooks in them. And he he put some hooks in up above my cafe curtains. So you can't even see the hooks that they're hanging from. So I thought that was pretty cool. I want him to put one more hook in each of those windows. And then I want to put at least two hooks in each of these windows. And I have to be careful because, you know, the more stuff we have hanging in front of the windows, the less natural light the other plants are getting so um, <clears throat> before I go on with my 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 stash my wonderful wonderful presents that I got from Suzette I wanted to just show you give you an update on my um, kangaroo paw fern do you remember when that was all but dead and there was like one I think one th you know three three finger leaf left on it but there was a tiny little shoot coming up out of the soil. You guys, did you see that video? I was so excited when I saw that little piece of green coming up. I thought, oh, it didn't die. All is not lost. And sure enough, look, her, look at her now. Is that not gorgeous? I'm, I'm absolutely blown away by how much this plant has grown in the last couple months. And I just love this plant. I love all my plants, but oh, this one is just out of this world beautiful right now. And I know that these plants go dormant. I'm hoping that doesn't happen again this year. I know some plants go dormant every couple of years, and I'm hoping that this is one of them. I should probably do some research again. I know I researched it once before, but my memory is not the greatest, so unfortunately I don't remember what I what I found <laughs> when I looked it up. Of course, that was probably about a year ago. So, uh, But anyway, so uh, yeah, that's, that's her. Okay. All right, getting back to what I was doing here. Uh, the Tretoscanthia, yeah, that's going to be, that'll be fine. It's going to be wonderful when it's all in bloom. I'm sorry, when it's all rooted up and healthy again. And I'm, I'm going to add these to it. But I want to make sure that they got a good root system on. Now, I know these, the, this family, they root, they, I, they'll root in the air sometimes if you... <laughs> If you got enough humidity, they're very, very easy plants to root. So I have no doubt that this is going to be a big, beautiful plant again in the very near future. Okay. Then, um, what else do we have here? 
Um, okay, let's see if I can get it closer. Here we've got my Calen Koi. And that did not look good at all when I took it out of the package, but she's perked up a lot. I'm still seeing some yellow leaves that are probably gonna I'm gonna lose, but not a big deal. This too is a pretty hardy plant, and I'm pretty sure that it's gonna be fine. Uh, this is my Sophia begonia. Whoops, I'm sorry about that noise. Let's see if I can get at it. I want to turn it. Okay. Now, as you can see, the the one leaf is, we know that's not going to make it. That's pretty much done. This leaf is okay. Um, I don't think it's going to die, but it's probably going to stay the way it is. We'll see. But the exciting part is, look at that shoot. Remember when I opened this and that was just a, it looked like a dried up piece and then at, by the end of the video, I said, oh my goodness, it almost looks like it's starting to open. Well, it was. And when I got up the next morning, there she was, a new shoot. So she's going to be fine. She'll make it. And then this guy here, um, this was a cutting. Uh, I believe it was an air, air layering, if I'm not mistaken. And this one I'm going to be putting in a pot with um, a, 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 probably a bamboo uh, support. And Suzette said I should go ahead and put the soil in there and then stick the bamboo rod down in there and then put a layer of sphagnum moss on the top and just take the cellophane off and lay it on top because if you bury the rhizome it'll rot. So that's on my list of things to do today. So that's pretty much it. Oh I wanted to show you the um, oh and my oh I, I never can remember the name of this species of plants and gosh I hate that when my memory does that. But I'm sure you all know what it is. <laughs> Probably shouting it at me as we speak. Um, yesterday I said I was going to probably leave these together. But after I thought about it, <clears throat> I thought, you know, I think I want to add these to the ones that I already have. So I'm going to work on that today. I'm going to see if I can separate the roots. These are all grown together, and all the roots are grown together, so I want to be very careful. I don't want to lose any of these, but I know that they root pretty fairly easily, so I'm going to think I'm going to give that a shot today um, and try to separate these. We've got three separate plants here. So, or actually, is there four? No, yeah. I don't know, there might be, f no, there's, there's three, I think. But at any rate, I'm going to repot this today, too. I, I want to give this guy his own pot. And I really want to add these to the plant I already have, so. Now, I do have this one. And I got this one from Suzette last year. It's finally taken off. It took a long time for that to produce. But that, I've got another, I do have a hanging pot with that in it. Um, with about three or four sprigs coming out. So I'm just going to stick that one in with that one and that'll just make it fuller. So, alright. Well, I think, did I cover them all? Oh no, you didn't see the... Lax Ivy. Let me walk over there and, and look at that. Okay. Very sad looking. <laughs> Unfortunately. 
but I brought her in the living room to um, have give her a little more, well, to give her some company with my other plants and also to be able to keep a very close eye on her. Um, and also because I needed a place for her long strands to hang down. I have another spot that I'm going to put her in, but I need to get some more hanging pots, small hanging pots, and they're so hard to find. In fact, the only time I ever find them is when they're trying to sell a plant in them. And then sometimes I buy the plant just to get the pot. Isn't that silly? But um, So there she is. She's not dead. I think she's going to make it. But yeah, I lost a lot of it. Unfortunately... It, it had a, the water just killed it. The leaves were soaking wet. I could actually wring them out. And Suzette and I were talking about it, and she thinks it's because she had watered them shortly, you know, like the day before. When she ripped them apart and, and was repotting them, she wanted to give them a good drink, which is the right thing to do. Um, but unfortunately, it held that water, and when I got it, it was, the leaves were waterlogged. It had nowhere to, to get rid, rid of the moisture. And it didn't help that it was in shipping for eight days. Thank you, USPS. Had it been delivered in the three-day priority mail, which is what she mailed it at, I'm sure this plant would have been fine, even with the watering. So I'm not too worried about it. And in the background, you can see my um, Stromanthi Trio Star and my White Fusion. So those are doing well. Those are very healthy. And I got a little Calathea behind her. And she's doing very well. So... Anyways, <clears throat> that's about it for this video. Um, I'm going to go get this loaded up into the YouTube and so you all can see the end result of my my huge unboxing. And uh, I hope you all enjoyed it. And I hope you all will come back for my my repotting endeavors. I want, I've got a lot to do between now and the time the snow flies. It's that time of year when I used to rip my house apart and, and I'd wash my windows and my screens and my carpeting and everything. I mean, I just, I, I went crazy in the fall. And about every three months I would do that. But I'm not able to do that anymore, so... I have to at least do it in, for my plants and around my plants because I need that to be clean and that's going to be my project for the next month I'm afraid but I want it all to be nice and clean for winter before we have to close everything up again so I will be busy and I will film or I should say record some of that for those of you that like to watch that sort of thing all right well i hope you all have a great day and uh today's wednesday let's see that's a hump day so once you get over the hump then it's clear sailing so i look forward to coming bringing coming back to you guys maybe even tomorrow and uh hope you all have a great day and i hope you're all healthy thank you for coming bye now